All right, let's do this one more time from the top. My name is George Medina. Yes, it's spelled Jorge, but I only go by that when I'm in trouble with my wife. Jorge, I cannot believe you. Oh, I know. Several years ago, I was bit by the collecting bug, and for the past five years, I've been sharing my experiences with YouTube as the Medina Lorian. I've unboxed this, I've unboxed that, gone to Comic Cons around the world, I took a look at this. Yeah, we, we don't talk about this. But today, I want to share with you guys something that I think is really awesome. I recently picked up this Miles Morales six scale figure. It's made by these hot people and costs this much. You can buy it over here, but I highly recommend these guys because they can save you some money. Now, this figure comes with all of this. Crazy, right? Swap out heads, clothes. It's even got a cute little spray can. The point is, I've unboxed a lot of cool stuff. A lot. But this has got to be the coolest Spider-Man figure I have ever seen. And here's why. All right, so to me, what makes this figure so much cooler than any other Spider-Man figure that I've had is obviously the articulation points in this one and also all of the accessories that come with this. Just like with the Spider-Gwen, you get a lot of accessories with this figure. So let me show you some of the accessories and then go over the articulation with you guys so you can see what you can get out of it and then we'll get into some posing, all right? First up, you get a backdrop, just like you got with Spider-Gwen. Now, this is pretty cool if you wanna take and display this this way. I do not like the way they package these things in the box and as you can see, mine got bent in the, in pack, in the uh, shipment. So that kind of sucks. And you get these uh, different little decals that you can put on it, you know, to make it your own. Not something I'm gonna use, but it's an option if you wanna display it that way. Just like with the Spider-Gwen, you get a really cool display plaque. And I really like the way the base looks. You have, you know, a very glossy shine. I don't know if it's being picked up there. It doesn't look like, there it is. You can see some of the gloss there and the logo, but then everything else is matte. And then you get the new style stand so that you can make him uh, look like he's you know, flying through the air, which is really cool. And then you get the waist grabber. Another cool feature that I like about this. You get optional heads and the portraits look outstanding. I mean, they look just like the character from the movie. I am digging this so much. Look at this. You got the more innocent version, I guess you could say. And then you got a more confident Miles Morales there now that he's got his abilities. So that's cool. Really love that. Really love the jacket and the hoodie that you could put on him, which is the way I'm gonna be displaying him. And it's posable. There's wiring in here so that you can make this, you know, pose the way you want to and really give it, you know, some nice, um, you know, dynamic feel to it. And you get some shorts to go along with it. You get the original outfit that he had on at the beginning of the movie. So you could have him in that, all right? When you display him that way, you get some options for his uh, neck so that you can make him look like he's not wearing the suit and this is kind of like a rubber material and then the same thing for like his lower ankles and you get the socks and the socks even have stitching and detail in that too super super cool all right you get some other stuff that i obviously will not use so you get like the uh, spider-man mask and everything that he bought from stan lee at the beginning of the movie and you get some stickers so you can stamp them all over the place if you want to I'm obviously not going to use those and you get this card here which is basically something else you can use okay you get swap out eyes so just like with spider gwen the eyes pop out and then you can take and display your eyes the way that you want to you got that awesome you got web sling you know you got that you got like i said a spray can of all things and the cap comes off which is very interesting so you can uh, you can make it look like he's spray painting, and it's even got wording on there, which is which is really cool. I love the way they did that with the bottle. So very very awesome. Now there's no articulation points in the fingers. They do have some swap out hands. All of the hands are a rubber material, so they flex. All right, but nice details. Like you can see the nails and everything, and then you got swap out hands also for um, for his Spider Man suit. You got different ones. You got these, which look really neat. Look like it's like, like he's uh, balancing himself on the floor or on like a wall or something. You have a couple that have the hole in there so you could put the web sling in there to make it look like he's slinging. All right, and you got some open hand ones. You got one like this, 
all right? And then you also have one that's way open hand like that. Also very nice detail. And I like the way they look, made it look like it's been spray painted. The paint's been spray painted on there like it did in the movie. So there's texture there and all that, which is very cool, all right? So that's all of the little different accessories. But what really, really makes this figure stand out, I think, is the design of the suit. So you, if you take a look at that, there's a difference here between this mannequin and then the Spider-Gwen and also the way the suit was designed. So I got the Spider-Gwen right here. Here's how they look standing next to each other. You can see that they're pretty much the same height, all right? Suit design's a little bit different. The suit on Spider-Gwen is more of like a vinyl material, which is, is nice because it forms her body really well. But then the problem goes into when you're taking and trying to pose her, uh, it can tear the, the suit, which that kind of sucks. Uh, but this one does have a lot of articulation as well. And in some cases, more articulation than, uh, than Spider-Man over here, than Miles Morales. So we're gonna go over the differences between those two. Spider-Man though, Miles, has more of a cloth suit, which is very nice. So that's gonna allow you to take and really pose the figure and not have to worry about, you know, any kind of, uh, wrinkles or something like that now unfortunately here in the shoulders there's still that vinyl material and even when it comes from uh, from the factory inside of the packaging you're gonna see that there's wrinkles right here in the shoulders and there's no getting around that unless you keep the arms open this way like that so that's just gonna be what it is right but the rest of the suit is a cloth material which is really really cool all right articulating the head you got a little bit of side to side action, actually a little bit more than a little bit. You can go side to side, but what really is cool is you can make him look all the way down like that, which is super awesome. Never seen that. You can make him look all the way up. So you can actually make him look like he's falling right down if you wanted to. I mean, it's ridiculous. That is the most articulation I've seen in the head. And it may just be that I'm just, you know, a noob to, to six scale collecting, but that is the most articulation I've seen in the head, which is neat. Arms can stretch out about that far. You can go all the way back like that. You can go all the way forward like that. You got double joints in the elbows, which is super cool. Downside though, you have no articulation in the wrist other than turning, which is really weird because the spider Gwen, she has articulation. So if you look at hers, you can actually twist the, the wrist in and out and side to side if you wanted to, which gives you a little bit more balance. You don't get that with Spider-Man. This one here, is, it's stiff. You can't really move the wrists, all right? So that's weird. I don't know why they made that design choice. You got separate articulating points here in the waist and in the chest, you can see. So you have a good amount of articulation in the, in the body itself. You could really get Spider-Man into some poses as far as the body goes. The legs go all the way forward like that. You got a double joint in the knee, you can go all the way back like that, almost touches back. It's insane, you can really get into some positions, man. I like it, all right? And you can twist the leg a little bit, so you can get a little bit of twist action right there. Now, here's another cool point that's not available on the spider Gwen. You have articulating toes, look at that. You can twist the toes up and down like that, which is gonna make for some really cool articulation and, and, and uh, design when you're trying to pose your figure and that is really really neat but the side effect is you don't really have side to side action with your with your ankle you can't make the ankle do that so when you have your leg out this way you see that i can't get the foot flat which is weird i don't know why they didn't give you that you can go all the way forward like that and you can go back like that to make the feet point out so that's it that's all of the articulation points you get with this figure Let's get some of these outfits on. Let's try this stuff out because there's a lot of cool stuff here. I can't wait to pose this guy. So let's get to it.
All right, and that's gonna about do it for me. My final thoughts on this figure is, this is my favorite Spider-Man figure that I've ever had in this room. I can't tell you how much fun I had posing this guy. It was really awesome. I like the way he looks with Spider-Gwen. Uh, it's by, by, it has its limitations, all right? It's not perfect. So there's a few things I wanna share with you guys that I didn't know when I started the video. Uh, first of all, you can swap out the heads. Check that out. That's really awesome. Um, and you can take and get a different face, you know, if you wanted to have a different portrait on this mask. So that's pretty neat. Uh, other things, when you put the Jordans on, it limits your ability to balance. It's because the sneaker, it doesn't have that side to side ankle movement. So the sneakers don't plant very well. I also wish that they had the license to actually have the Nike swoosh on the sides because that would look awesome. But my man, Anthony from uh, Six Scale Mafia, uh, he hit me up and told me about uh, some aftermarket ones that I got on order now. So I'm gonna be able to um, check those out soon. So we'll see how they look on this. So shout out to him, really appreciate that. Uh, also, when you wanna put him into the you know original suit outside of the Spider-Man suit, like if you wanted to look like regular Miles, putting on these ankles and socks are real pain in the mother, bro. It is really, really hard. Um, what I would suggest is to take him, this separates, the sock separates from the actual skin. Put the skin on first and then slide the sock on. You're still gonna have a fight with it. So it, it is a little bit of a, of a difficult uh, thing to do. So that's a few things for you to mention about this figure as far as uh, some, some stuff there. Also, be careful with the wrists. That's because the sleeves tend to pull back a little bit. So that's something else. But other than that, I think everything else is really awesome. I like the fact that you can make him look like just Miles outside of the suit. You could have him with the shorts and the hoodie and everything like you saw him at the beginning with the Jordans, which is the way I'm gonna wanna display him. Definitely, I like this suit, but I like it better with the hoodie and the sneakers. I think it looks dope. And then you can also have him like this uh, and you can do some real Spider-Man poses with this thing is what I really, really like. Um, if they had a little bit more ankle movement and a little more uh, wrist movement, I think you could get even more. I don't understand why they didn't, they chose not to, uh, to give you that mobility. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm, I still don't know what the deal with that is. But other than that, I think this thing is dope. So if you're on the fence about getting this one, I recommend it. I think it's a badass Spider-Man figure. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. And until next time, keep it marvelous. Thank <laughs> you.